Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll be posting more videos hopefully once a week. So let's get started. So it's no news to you guys that I love Drunk Elephant. I've talked about them a couple of times in my channel and I think it's a brand that does their products really well. Very well executed, very uh, aesthetically pleasing packaging and just overall really well done product. So I stocked up on my two moisturizers that I use. I was using this religiously, it's the Lala Retro Whipped Cream and I love it. It's uh, really good at kind of protecting your face uh, from water loss and just like enhancing your uh, skin barrier and whatever. Uh, it's just really good, you guys. If you're interested in what this product is about, definitely I'll be linking down below the product and their Sephora website so that you can kind of see what this product does. But really great product. Definitely recommend. So the Lala Retro has been a favorite of mine for the longest time. And then they came out with this moisturizer, which is a proteiny polypeptide cream. Uh, this is described as kind of like, oh, the phone is ringing, why? Hold on, okay, I think they're done. So the poly, uh, the proteiny cream, this is a polypeptide cream. So basically it's supposed to help, you know, keep your collagen going and all that anti-aging good stuff. So I'll also be posting down below the website if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about these products. But this is more like a gel consistency and this is more like a rich cream consistency and I love both. I can't keep one or the other so I keep both and I like to use them uh, sometimes depending on the occasion if I feel that my skin needs more of this or if my skin needs more of that. And I have used both when my skin feels really really dry. I also really love that, like especially at night, gorgeous. And I also ordered from Drunk Elephant, shocker, uh, their new Silly Body Lotion. I have been having a lot of trouble with stretch marks and I just decided I have to hydrate my skin more and I have to pay more attention to my overall uh, body skin as well, not just my face. So I decided to jump in the wagon of their uh, new line for skincare. So now they have like shampoos and all these other stuff. Uh, but I'm trying this first. It's also free from silicones and all those other ingredients that they avoid in the rest of their line, which I really like. And it's, it has, you know, the right pH, like all their formulations, guys, like they have their life together. Like they know what's going on. My first impression of this cream when I opened it, I smelled it and oh my gosh, you guys, like it smells like almonds, but like very, I don't know, like sweet almond. I don't know. It's really nice and it doesn't linger too, too long, but if it did, I wouldn't mind because I love the smell of this. I've applied it once now, so technically this is not an unboxing product, but it's new, really new. I've just used it once and i kind of wanted to try it before i came up here and showed it to you guys just in case i wasn't like too convinced about it but so far you know it's approved and i'm happy that i got it and it's also not that expensive it's 20 dollars. and since it's summer obviously we had to try a new spf i actually ran out from my other spfs and i got this other one which i'm not even gonna bother mentioning uh, it started breaking me out like really, really bad. So I was like, nah, girl, I'm not about that. And I got this. So it's super easy to use. It's like a cryan stick. This is by Shiseido, by the way. I didn't mention that before. And it's their uh, clear sunscreen stick. And I love it. I think they're discontinuing it at Sephora, but they still are selling it like pretty much everywhere else. I still got it at Sephora, but I think it was like the last one and I saw recently that they put it on sale. So they're probably going to like either reformulate it or change the packaging or something. But I really like this. Uh, I haven't tried any other version and I would recommend this. So I got some samples. Very cool. I got this uh, cute little sunscreen from Clinique. 
uh, Broad Spectrum 50. And I also got the Kate Somersville Exfoliate, the little like sample version. I love this as well. It's very harsh on the skin, but I really like it, especially when my skin is feeling like very congested and full of like gunk and disgustingness. I love to use this, but I use it very sparingly, very now and then, and I'm very happy that I got this little tube. Uh, I have a bigger version, like the mini version, uh, which is bigger than this, but still, this will last me a really long time, and I'm really happy that I got it. When you check out in Sephora in their website, definitely check if you can get a deluxe sample. I know that there's a minimum uh, amount of purchase so that you can get a deluxe sample, but sometimes they have really good products in there, and the deluxe samples, you know, they are a very good size. So check it out. And now I want to talk about a new brand that I recently started trying, and it's Tatcha. Oh my gosh, you guys. So uh, I know I'm very late to this party, um, but I, I, I like it. So far, I'm very happy with the Tatcha products that I've tried. Uh, I started uh, a couple of months ago. I bought the uh, Vi Violet Sea Mask or something like that. It's basically that lilac mask that everyone wears and it's super cute. I'll probably show it to you guys in another video. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It was a very luxurious experience. I also saw some QVC videos with the uh, owner and founder of the brand. I'll be putting her name somewhere around here. Uh, but she looks amazing. Uh, like as a person, she is great she's so charismatic and i definitely got sold on a lot of her products but another product that i bought that i wanted to show you in this haul is the rice polish and i got the gentle one so it comes in this little box right here by the way their packaging super cute and if you don't know about tatcha basically all their products are kind of based on like geisha beauty secrets the geishas used to use like rice water or the rice that was left from the water i don't know if this makes sense so basically they cleaned or washed the rice and then they used that water to wash their face that's what i mean this is pretty much the same idea it's a foaming enzyme powder so it has enzymes and you also get these little like scrubby bits uh, because this comes out as a pop powder. They have different versions of this product. They have the classic, which is like a white packaging, and this purple one is the gentle. I wanted to try gentle because I'm not very sold on the idea of doing physical exfoliation. Uh, I'm very wary of physical exfoliation just because I know that it can hurt your skin more than help it. Um, but with this, it's supposed to be like super gentle. I've also heard Hiram talk about it and say that this was one of the Tatcha products that he really liked and that he thinks is worth it. A gentle one has licorice in the ingredients list. So that's a, uh, an ingredient that helps with brightening and helping like with scarring, things like that. Let me show you guys. So this is the small version, like the travel version. Um, and there's like a really big one, but I wanted to try out first. And it comes with a cap like this and you basically like open it and like pour it in your hand. It smells also really good. It smells like the mask that I have from them and it's like very earthy, like a spa earthy vibe. And the powder here is purple. You can kind of see it in there. I will probably test this out on camera for you guys so that you can see how it performs. I also got some samples from them. I got this uh, silk canvas, which has that little dollop of that. I always wanted to try this, um, but I don't really use a lot of primers, so I wanted to try it out. And I also got sent the rice polish, but the classic one, uh, which is the white one, and you can see the picture right there. Comment down below if you would be interested in seeing a comparison between the classic and the gentle but what really blew me away about tatcha is just the experience of their products like it's super luxurious like everything feels really special and it makes you feel like very luxe obviously because it's like really expensive <laughs> but in the packaging uh from my little thing 
I got a handwritten letter by Tatcha. Like that to me was like, what? Like, I feel really special. Like I bought this little thing and you're sending me samples and a letter. Like, I feel, I don't know if you're getting me guys. Like, I feel like they really put a lot of effort in making the customer feel special, not only through their products, but like through the whole experience of like buying from Tatcha. So in this little card, I have like my invoice, which I'm not gonna show you because you know, um, but when I open this, which by the way, this is gorgeous. It says Tatcha and it's like gold foiling, super cute. And then you open it and here it came with like my invoice thing but here you have a handwritten letter now it's not very eligible but it says like dear daniela and something something and i was like that's beautiful like thank you tatcha thank you for taking the time of hiring an intern to write in purple ink on a piece of paper so that it made me feel good about myself and about my day finally the last thing that i got from derma store Derm store. I always mess that up. Um, it's Skin Cytical CE Ferulic Serum. Now, this product, I wanted to purchase it for the longest time, but you know, it's expensive, so I couldn't really splurge on it. But now, you know, it was my birthday. I am a little bit older. I need to pay more attention to preventing wrinkles and things like that. I'm a little bit concerned as with everything that is vitamin C, how long it will last. Um, but since it, it is mixed with, you know, vitamin E and all these other things, like it's supposed to be like a very stable serum. I will definitely be posting myself using this and I'll probably give a full on review later on. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I can't believe I finally got it and i'm frustrated that i didn't get any discount on it but i'm still very excited and if you follow derm store sometimes they will have uh like 15 percent off skin suticals and things like that so definitely get in their mailing list because they might hook you up with a nice discount and of course samples 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 so i got this cool stuff i love the packaging i don't even know what this is like shampoo and conditioner and i got this little sample from skinceuticals which is a discoloration defense little serum definitely interested in trying that out and a little spf 30 which love it. so that's basically all i got uh, i'm very excited to try all these products i love these brands i think they're awesome and yeah that was all thank you so much for watching please remember like subscribe comment down below what you thought which other products you would recommend I would be super interested in listening what you have to recommend to me as well thanks bye